Welcome to another beautiful day. A little bit cold, but I wish it would be like that all year. Uh, no rain. Beautiful. And Sherry Keller, this is your second video. This time uh, you asked me to bless it in the holy sites of the Church of the Holy Sepulchre and um, to talk about um, Adam, Adam and Eve and the connection to here and um, to visit a little bit of the Via della Rosa then we're gonna do that backward we're gonna start from the end and then we're gonna reach uh, the first uh, stations of the cross then it's gonna be a just for you now I know that he was supposed to be here before COVID with your church but guess what you're just here now and we are dedicating that Jerusalem cross for you and you ask me something that I really love and I will read it in English and, and in Hebrew you said please write on the cross for salvation of all souls and I loved it and um, that's why uh, you do have another video uh, I came early morning just to take uh, a video of Lent um, Lent prayers um, and, and I'm sure that he saw it that was beautiful then in Hebrew uh, for salvations of all souls it's Leman Yeshuat Kol Neshamot. But listen to the word salvation. Yeshuat. Yeshua. Salvation. Jesus. Yeshua in Hebrew. Uh, Jesus in English. But the meaning of it, salvation. Then it's like double meaning. Um, then let's start with a short tour at the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. It's in a way your second tour there. And the facade is mainly from 11, 12th century. And we're going to enter straight up to the Golgotha um, to bless it. No, because we're doing it backward. We will go to the tomb. Early morning I was already inside the tomb uh, to bless your cross. I cannot go with a video into the tomb uh, but I already did it as I promised you then the tomb for me it's not only a tomb first of all look how beautiful are the doors Muslims not Christians twice a day are opening and closing the door why uh, traditional uh, at the Muslim time they control the church but um, for the Christians, because there's so many problems between themselves, they actually say, all right, it's better to have the uh, keys at the Muslims' hands and not in my other domination, Christian domination hands. Mm, sad? Well, not sad, that's the reality. look like a ceremony will begin soon. In that case, I'm standing here for you. You are so blessed today, yeah, Sherry. So many processions and ceremonies we saw today. Um, can we wait to see what's happening here? This is the tomb of Jesus. It's actually uh, divided into two. Uh, the first part is the um, angel ch chapel, but took care that no one is the body of Christ. The inner part is the tomb himself. Alright, behind you, you can see the 
session. This looks like a Greek Orthodox procession. Might be part of Lent. First week of the Lent. We saw it. Then the tomb is the resurrection tomb of Jesus on Sunday, and we are on Sunday. And um, And um, we are actually heading backward to see more of it. Yes. Mm? What are my lights? Hey, Dad. Just before they um, buried him, they purified his body and um, Sherry, I'm blessing the cross here on the stone and put the anointing oil all over it. The smell is amazing. And let's go in to Adam Chapel. You wanted me to talk a little bit about Adam Chapel. Let's start with that. According to Jewish tradition, Adam and Eve, when they were kicked out from Eden, they went straight down to um, uh, Mount Moriah, which is today the Dome of the Rock. They went down to the foundation stone. At the fourth century, when they built their church, a lot of those traditions were moved to here, including the um, uh, Adam Chapel. Then, at what they believe is that the first man was buried here. You can see here the creek, and soon we're going to climb up to the Golgotha. This is part of the Calvary. Then if the foundation stone is not so far away from here, then the story of Adam, the first man, is here. Adam was the first sinner, uh, together with Eve. Jesus came to repent it, to change it. Jesus came to take all the sins for us. In that case, he will be above Adam. Um, and now when we know it, let's climb up to the Golgotha. 
to see two chapels. The first one of um, oh, oh, it's gonna be crowded now, but that's uh, I won't be able to stop it anymore because I'm happy that it's happened. It means that the tour guides are started to to work. I will work soon as well. But let me tell you, my friends, if you want to have your own cross across, and I do have different kind of crosses, go into my site. Uh, oh, sorry, go to the description of this video, and you will find the link for buy me a coffee. Uh, there you will get all the information, and of course, I will upload the video to you with your own private um, or wishes just like um, of uh, Sherry Geller and I will send the cross to you then you will have the video it's like you've been here and you will get the cross to your house that is Jerusalem cross unique to Jerusalem Jerusalem is uh, uh, the big one center of the world and the rest whatever you will choose we enter to the Catholic part here you can see uh, nail. Nailing is to the cross, which is one of the Via de Rosa stations. Let me bless it for you. And the Pieta is where. Mary, the naked body and the dead body of the son you can understand the agony of it. It is like she went to the temple and Saint Simon told her, Your son will die in front of your eyes. It's like a spear will die to your heart. Tragic. Difficult. And we are moving from the Catholic part to the Greek Orthodox. This is the crucifixion place. You can see the bedrock of the Gomata. Remember, we are really big there. We saw the lower part of it, Adam Chapel. John the disciple is here. Jesus and his sins list above it. He's here. And Mary was on the other side. While Jesus was on the cross, he still thought about his mother. Take care of my mother, he said to John. Let me put the cross on top of the Golgotha to bless it as well. Because I already blessed it in the morning. There, I don't need to do that again. But I want you to see the Golgotha from here as well. Damn, this is the Greek Orthodox part. And let's see if there is a ceremony there. And then we saw the beginning of it. Let's see if we can see a little bit more. Yes. We're going now out of the church, actually the main church, but not out of the church. Because if they will let me, I will enter to the, to the Ethiopian part to visit the main station of the Via Dolorosa. That's where Jesus fell from the second line. Then we visit the Golgotha. We visit the um, place that they noted his body and we saw the tomb of Jesus. Then we are ready now to go out. Mm -hmm. 
let's see, the Ethiopian church is open. Yes, it is. Then the Ethiopian believes that they are a creation of a meeting, a very important biblical meeting between Queen Shiva and King Solomon. And when the son came to his father, his father, King Solomon, gave him the art, Ark of the Covenant. And every Ethiopian church, you will see that it's divided into two. So, the inner part, cover with a curtain, is uh, the Holy of the Holy, and the other part is the disciple section. Let's climb up. It is a bit dark. I don't know how many times you visit uh, Ethiopian church. Ah, what's happening there? There's no light. Let me use a flashlight. What's happening there? Mystic. Then we reach the roof of the church, and that belongs to the Ethiopians as well. And you can see where the Ethiopian lives. Oh, looks like someone is going to Ethiopia. Someone came from Ethiopia. I know that there's a war now. Then in Ethiopia. Yeah, we know about Ukraine and Russia, but there's a war in Ethiopia as well then. Let's pray that every war will be end. Coding, remember everything was moved to here from the Temple Mount, and you can see here a beautiful olive tree. According to Ethiopian um, tradition, this is where Abraham almost sacrificed Isaac. You know what? Just let's bless it. That is made of olive tree. Then let's go out from Ethiopia. Guess where? Egypt. Little bit chilly, but it's, I'm okay. Coptic Orthodox Patriarch Jerusalem, St. Anthony Coptic Monastery is above us, it's closed. And um, I will try to enter the first time that they will open it. Um, ninth station of the cross is will be to your left soon. Here it is. That is where Jesus fell for the third time about Via del Rosa. If you don't know those 14 stations, it might be that you are not Catholic. Because the Bible didn't mention so many stories that happen. The Bible mentioned few things that happen. And, um, but when the Franciscans came to here, they found out that there are so many other traditions, and this is one of them. Um, uh, a video, just a video, a video that I took just before that, I almost fell, and I have no reason to believe that I will die today, or oh, I ate, I'm not starving, I'm not carrying my cross, then Jesus can fall again. This is a holy mattress. <laughs> Why? Because there's one guy by the name Yaakov, that you could see, you could see him in my uh, previous videos. Uh, today I didn't see him. I saw him, but it was too far to talk with him. And he lives like Jesus, um, will um, dress like Jesus, walk without shoes, 
And when I asked him, where are you staying? He told me, remember the night station? Look for a mattress there. That's where I'm staying. I, um, in Christmas, I forced him to drink some hot uh, choco, chocolate, so he asked for that, and a cake, and I bought him a Christmas cake, a big one, beautiful one. And he said, thank you. And then he saw a beggar, and he gave the beggar his cake. He is a saint, my dear. In about 200 years from now, we will be able to visit his monastery. You saw a procession, but we are here in the border between the Jewish quarter. You can see the white dome of the synagogue. Yes. Christian quarter, that's where we are now. And behind it, this is already Muslim quarter. The only quarter that you cannot see from here is the Armenian one. Um, Let's continue our Via del Rosa. We will visit some of the stations. And we're walking backward. And, and now, um, Sherry, remember you couldn't visit the Holy Land? Now you are visiting the Holy Land. And of course, everyone that watched that video too, did you already subscribe my channel? Please do that. If you do have some questions, don't hesitate, ask me. I'm so happy to read it, and I'm so happy to answer it. It's a great... It's a great... Uh, oh, no, that, that, that's it, I won't be able to... No, 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 with the camera and Tamahindi, the drink. Gosh, you hear me drinking. That's not so good. But this is the second cup of drink that I'm drinking today. As you can see, it's not so touristic. That's straight, there are a lot of tourists, but the shops are not only for tourists, although it started to be like it. Ooh, fish. We are reaching the seventh station of the cross. That is where Jesus fell for the second time. And only then we will enter to the city from the time of Jesus. That everything that we did now, the church until now, was outside the city at the time of Jesus. That city is totally different than the city that we know. It's like a gap of 2,000 years. Then think about your city. It looks different now. Think about Manhattan 2,000 years ago. Go. It looks heavy and tasty. <laughs> and here it is, the seventh station of the cross. That's where Jesus fell for the second time. And only now we are entering uh, the city. Got the message? We're doing it backward. 
Such a beautiful place. Lots of local people, not a lot of tourists now. The tourists were here early morning. It's so tasty. Then we are reaching the sixth station of the cross. For me, I think if you're watching my videos, if you follow my YouTube channel, you know that this is the station outside the church that I really love. But before that, before we reach the sixth station, say hello again in a different video. Now, if you I like. Wish you to have tourists coming with you. Amen, amen. Then, if you want coffee, it's called El Mufti, and it's between the six and the seven station. It's got any kind of coffee, but try the Arabic coffee. Called Jerusalem coffee. Jerusalem coffee. Amazing. You know how to do that. This is how it comes, with this. We make it with this. All right. Jezba. Bakraj, we call it. Galay, we call it. It have good different And things. and for one glass of uh, of uh, of coffee, how many spoons do you put in it? It depends how they like it. Strong or less strong, or medium. It depends. All right. And, and then we advise them without sugar. Ah yes, I love sugar. <laughs> but you're right. <laughs> and it comes with a glass of water. Why the water? The water. First of all, you have, when we serve the coffee, we put a glass of water and sweets. A sweet, it always goes, ah, on a tray. And we put the sweets in the water. First of all, when it's ready, the coffee. Yes. When it's ready. They put the coffee in the finjan. This is finjan. This is called the brick or bakraj or gallai. Three names. Wait one minute for the powder to come oh, down. Okay. And then you have to have a sip of water. Change the taste of the mouth. Before you're drinking. Before you drink. Before you're because drinking. you have eaten sweets, you have eaten sour things. So to test the coffee, you have to have water to change. Then when you finish the coffee, you drink whole the cup of water because this is a laundry for the kidney. Ah, kidney all right. The powder. Suppose you drink a little powder with the coffee. Yes. So won't... It will wash it out. It will wash it. Excellent. Excellent. Well, we this is an old it. fashion of laundry. Great. Now, before we say goodbye, can I have the cookie, please? Of course. <laughs> of course. Sure. Yeah, all Would right. Like have more? No, 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 no. I don't have any more hands for that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. And in that case, now you got the message. It's not only coffee. It's the person who makes the coffee. And it's Thank between you. the sixth and the seventh. And we are heading to the seventh. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> now I do have cookie and a drink. And uh, more knowledge about Arabic coffee, or as you say, Jerusalem coffee, with cardigan. And we reach the sixth station of the cross. That is where Severonic saw Jesus walking up with um, the cross. Saint Simon helping him to, to carry the cross, and she cleaned his face. Um, in those 40 stations, no one really actually helped Jesus. Saint Simon was forced to help Jesus, but she did it. But she knew that she is taking a risk. Something can happen to her too, because she is, in a way, helping the enemy. Then Saint Veronic, and it will be difficult for me, but I'm trying to bless the cross as well. and holding a cookie in the same hand. Here it is. St. Veronic. That heading to the fifth station of the cross. 
let me drink a little bit. I need to do something with that with the cup. I don't have any more space in my hand. Gosh, you heard it again. But I'm so thirsty. And I don't want to stop the video because I don't know, I always feel the energy. I don't want to break, stop that energy. The fifth station is where Saint Simon helped him to carry the cross. Well known story. But before that, look at that. This is a guy that. Uh, no, 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 I just look, I'm just telling you, telling them about you. I know that you told me I'm going to make videos. I'm making lots of videos ah, and I always stop good. with him. He is the one who knows everything about excavation and about uh, antiques. You young lady, where you are from? <laughs> Ah, sie kommt von Deutschland. Uh, then we will say here. goodbye. All right, if I'm the client, then, then when you are here, remember between the sixth and the fifth station, can always stop next to him and he will talk you with you for hours about excavation in Jerusalem. You can buy or not, I think it doesn't matter for him. And if you're talking about something special, then let me. Sherry, look at that. The Arab Blind Association workshop. They're preparing brooms. And I, I think that this is an amazing uh, thing to buy. Although you don't need it anymore because of the robots. Another great man that goes on now, it was a long day for him. <laughs> look, ah, look at your dog. Do you have a dog? Yes. Not only cats? Hello, Luca. Hey. Mocha, okay, Mocha. Hello, Mocha. Ah, how are you? Yeah, I know, now I know. It's because of the coffee. It's good to see you again. Then, cheers. Bye bye, Mocha. <laughs> bye. <laughs> and at last, we reached the fifth station of the cross. And the most important part about that station is that rock. Let's bless our cross there. And that is where he put his hand, left hand, and he couldn't breathe. And then the Romans for Saint Simon, a Jew who just passed here. I mean, he went from the garden to the city and he met uh, the, Ro the uh, Romans who forced him to help Jesus. What a Jew from Libya is doing it. I will explain it that on the way. I have a cookie. But I don't have the time to eat it. Genius. Genius. You open, you, you're actually using that place as well? Yes. Genius. You are, it's an excellent way of thinking. Now you do have a big space here. And I hope. Yeah, good, good. You, I know, you are a good businessman. I love it. Bye bye. Then. Um, Let's, let's continue. Um, all of the salesmen here, including that one who smokes, are local <laughs> and nice. And guess what? I'm an Israeli guy. They are Palestinians. Did you see the hate? No. Because it doesn't matter for me if he's a Muslim, Christian, a Jew, Hindu. They are people. And I respect people. And because I respect people, I think they respect me as well. We reached to two important stations that are not part of the Bible. This is the fourth one. That is where Jesus saw his mother, or his mother saw Jesus. And about that, although it's not in the Bible, I'm almost 100% sure 
that if Mary was in the city and she was in the city because she was at the crucifixion area, she met him, she was next to him. This is a Jewish mother until today. The third station is where he fell for the first time. The only problem is that because of COVID, all of those places are still closed. And what is the situation in Israel? First of all, you can add to Israel. Doesn't matter if you took the vaccine or not. Oh, wow. Wow, upstairs. That is nice. Um, you can see the Austrian hospice, but you can see the uh, Ukraine flag as well, the blue and yellow. This is beautiful. I like it. Then here it is. Here it fell for the first time. It's beautiful places to visit. But sadly, they are closed, and about the COVID, though everyone can enter now to here, uh, no, um, uh, the situation is getting worse, just like in the rest of the world. It's now the, uh, it looks like the sixth wave is on the way, and we will say hello to you, and <laughs> peace and love. Fine, the only thing is that I, I will have tourists next week. Inshallah. And the first one actually, when they came, I sat here. <laughs> then, excellent place to eat if you're talking about food. Basti. And you can hear now the. Ah, you can, another, another one. This is the owner of the Armenian shop. And that's uh, the Israeli soldiers. Um, just to keep that everything will be on the safe side. Um, the other group, that group goes to the first and the second station. I'm not. Uh, we will, I'm continue, and if it's okay by you, don't miss the view from the top of the Austrian Hospice. If it's okay by you, I will be followed by oops, the Muazin to the Damascus Gate. And I must wait, let me throw the empty cup. Yes, now I can actually walk with you. I remember that I took a video and, I, and it was a crystal tour and, uh, and then the Muazin call. Someone, I don't know if he's a subscriber or not, blame me for it. This is Jerusalem. For the good and for the bad. And uh, this is part of the tour. We are in the Muslim quarter. That we are in the Muslim quarter, but you can see here the Chanukia uh, and the flags of Israel. <coughs> that shows you that this is a Jewish house that was they bought it with full money, uh, but according to so many, this is a Jewish settlement in the Muslim quarter. Sherry Keller, remember, I'm following the for salvation of all souls, then in that case, Jews, Muslims, Christians, look at the food, I didn't hear that food, sweets, there's one biscuit, with me, I will eat it the minute I will say goodbye to you, uh, but it's beautiful to see it because this part is totally not touristic. It's already 40 minutes and if you uh, if you reach that point please write it down tell me about it write me a comment uh, at the YouTube and if you want to talk with me uh, even more than at the description you will find um, my email my uh, 
professional WhatsApp and professional Facebook. Zahishi Kid Tour Guide, Israel Tour Guide. And um, that is the best place to talk with me. But if you want to write a comment uh, via YouTube, it's okay. The problem is that I'm not getting your answer back. That's it. It's YouTube. If you do it in the other option, yes, you can. And if you want to support my channel, you can do that via the link of buy me a coffee. That is the same link that you can actually buy yourself those crosses. And as you know, Sherry, she will get it to her house. But we are reaching Damascus Gate from the inner part. And soon you see it from the other side. It's such a beautiful gate. I think it's the most beautiful gate of the eight gates of Jerusalem. We are very close to Easter time to Passover and to uh, Ramadan time. Then, happy holidays to all of you. You will see that Damascus Gate is not an easy gate to cross, it's quite a wide gate. That was the main gate of Jerusalem for so many years, and it was difficult to cross it, especially for the, uh, the enemy. Look at the beautiful doors of it. They are getting ready, as I believe, to Ramadan time. They will fast for 30 days and they will celebrate from, let's say, it's going to be dark at 6 p.m. from 6 p.m. until 4 a.m. Oh, strawberries! And I just want you to see that right there, there's the foundation of the second uh, century uh, triumph out that was built by, by um, Adrian, Caesar Adrian. And above it, you can see that beautiful modern um, gate of Damascus. The Arab used to call it, I still call it, Bab el Amud. Bab, it's a door, Amud, it's a column. And here, there was a column with the statue of um, Adrian. And that's how they still keep that name. Uh, Damascus Gate for the Christians of us. It's the way to Damascus of St. Paul. We are getting closer to the end of our video. It will be around 45 minutes. Wow, a lot. I'm almost trying to do a little bit more than what I ask, that you will have a better story, a better video. I think it's unique. I'm almost sure that the only one is doing it. Then look how beautiful it is from here. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to light, I'm going to take the light trail to the train station and from there to Tel Aviv, to my house. Then it was a pleasure to be with you. If you didn't subscribe my channel and didn't push the button of the bell, do that. I do have more than almost 20k videos about the Holy Land. Not all of them good, but a lot of them are. 
quite good. You can know, you will be able to know a lot about Israel through them and the world that is here from the 16th century. And I'll see you and bye bye in my next video.